How does music bring us together? Music's been connecting us as human beings since the beginning of time. Every culture all around the, the world has a history of connection through music, ceremony through music. I think everyone has these bubbles of uh, different emotions inside them, but when they come to a concert hall, uh, they come from completely different lives, completely different days. And just hearing that same music together, it really gives life to that same bubble in every person. It awakens something that most people don't even know they had. I was studying at the University of Maryland, which is just outside of Washington, D.C., and September 11th occurred. At that point in time, of course, um, there was a lot of fear, a lot of anger, a lot of hurt and we performed Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. That music is so life-affirming, and I think that it was really one of the most incredible and uplifting experiences and reminded us why music and art and brotherhood is so important. I'm Linda. Hi, I'm Dan. And this is What Is Music? Linda, I think it's really apt that we're finishing this whole series mm. on the most important question of all, how does music bring people together? Yeah, we're talking about bringing people together at music festivals to sharing music with a friend. Music is a cosmic energy that just synchronizes humanity, man. But don't just take our word for it. Because science. I went to Macquarie University in Sydney to participate in some group chanting. So I'm just getting comfortable, relaxed. They took a sample of my saliva to test levels of the stress hormone cortisol. Okay. <laughs> and a questionnaire looked at how altruistic and in touch I was with my fellow humans. So everyone closing the eyes and just feeling as relaxed as you can in this moment. For the chanting to have any effect, we're going to have to go for around 12 minutes. So please enjoy another 11 and a half minutes of chant. All right, we'll edit it down a little bit. By the end, the group was much more synchronized with our chants. And whenever you're ready, just opening your eyes again. One more round of paperwork and a bit more saliva and we're done. But what are the effects? After the chanting, both your self-report stress and physiological stress, which we measured with the saliva and the cortisol, they also both decreased. It's possible that the increase in social connection is affecting the decrease in stress. You were basically a nicer person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it made me feel more altruistic, but it certainly made me feel happier. I mean, you're sort of regulating your breathing for 15 minutes and the group really gives it that structure. And while you were getting your chakra on, Dan, mm -hmm. I visited the Marx Institute for Brain, Behaviour and Development at Western Sydney University, where they were testing synchronised drumming and how it affected teamwork and collaboration. Uh, well, if you look up around the room, you'll see some red lights. Those are the motion capture cameras. So those will be recording these little dots, which we'll put up on you and your partner for this experiment in a moment. So we're using motion capture to see how these whole body movements and how seeing each other relates to your ability to synchronize both with a partner and with the music that you'll be hearing. I got to wear this very cool headgear. How's this? And fulfill my rhythm aspirations. ping or to the piano? The piano. But now I'm listening to the ping. <laughs> My partner and I were also seated in different positions to see how well we could sync even when we couldn't see each other. Your wrist markers, your drumming movements, you seem pretty synchronised. I think you two did pretty well together. Hey. Having just met today, <laughs> but the research is out there mm. um, just showing that even a short time of playing music together it could increase feelings of empathy or uh, social connectedness and things like that. While I felt more synchronised and bonded with the person that I was doing the drumming with, I feel like it was a combination. It wasn't necessarily just that we were hitting drums at the same time, it was that we were spending time together. Yeah, I think while science has proven enough that music can bring people together, what this theory really needs is the what is music treatment.
To see if music helps bring people together to be the best team they can be, we have chosen a task that will take every ounce of patience, skill, cunning and teamwork to accomplish. Assembling IKEA furniture. This is the Askfo, a chest of three drawers that is sleek and functional, but will undoubtedly provide a tough test for the best furniture assemblers in all of us. The challenges will only be given one hour to accomplish this daunting task. The team that finishes the ask fall first, or who has the most complete ask fall after 60 minutes, wins. The challenges, being Dan and I, will be paired up with people we have never met before. Alison Lim Montenegro and Michael Bochow from the synth pop band Froyo. My buddy Michael and I met before the challenge to bond over chanting and synchronised drumming. OK, so how do we feel now? In, in sync. sync. I will only be able to meet my partner, Alison, just before the challenge begins. The question here will be whether people can work better together as a team after sharing these musical experiences, or does it all get thrown out the window when it comes to the logic and physics-defying nature of IKEA furniture? May the best team win, Dan. Good luck, Lindy. You're gonna need it. I actually love IKEA furniture. You would, you sick jerk. <laughs> You have 60 minutes. Challenges ready? Yeah! Asphalt ready, set, go! Hi, I'm Dan. Hi, I'm Alison. Hi, How are you? It's nice to meet you. When was the last time you built your furniture? Maybe half a year ago. You? Okay. Longer than that. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought. Should we just open it, I guess? I feel like we're at a disadvantage. They've already spent some time talking with each other. I yeah. feel like they're communicating better. It's like a blind date, yeah. but not, so mm -hmm. that was really awkward. That's our thing. Okay. It's quite rare that you would meet someone and then stare into their eyes for a while, chanting. Oh, but we did nice. close our eyes after a while, because I pretty much fell asleep. Yeah. It's making me retired. <laughs> Wait, how do we touch a little screw? You have 45 minutes left. I hope you've gotten everything out of its packaging. What is Hapad Egg? Am I even Must holding the right thing? When Alison was lining up the screws and I was screwing mm -hmm. them in, that felt like we're actually working as a team, but it yep. took like half an hour to get there. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. We've got uh, all three of the drawers assembled. God! Yeah, how are you guys going What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're just a weird competitive dude. <laughs> I feel like we bonded but that doesn't necessarily make us put IKEA furniture together any better. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if anything could help. Is this the one? That is the one. <laughs> Here we go. Like, yeah. like, it's so easy to make an error. Like, you put the pieces down and then the holes are on one side and then you put the rail in with the wheel and if the wheel's upside down, you really screw yourself over, it's so... Like, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, so we ha we did that a few times. Maybe it's because I was looking at the instructions upside down. <laughs> you were reading them sideways. So, yeah, my bad. That's interesting. Structure's coming along. Uh, I feel like we've lost a little bit of time. Once. Just one more. They're totally not right. catching up. There might be one floor that nobody will ever notice. Oh, yeah. Oops. We screwed up Many and had to redo time. stuff so much. Is in that position? It helps, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. correct. Oh. Mm. You have 15 minutes left. You should be thinking about how everything is fitting together. I've never been a winner, you know? It'd be nice to win. I'm also generally a loser, but I've won almost all the challenges in this show so far. So I thought that it would be fitting if I kept the tradition on with my new in sync friend. Oh, this is the back wall thing, right? Sorry to interrupt, guys. Yeah. You may want to check one of your drawers. Really? There might be one floor that nobody will ever notice. Nobody will ever notice. <laughs> We didn't think anyone was going to find out. We had the floor of one of the drawers yep. up the wrong way, so instead of being white, it was kind of a brownie colour. It's still a very functional drawer, so exactly. it's a minor, minor thing to be pulled up on. Yeah. Really? <sighs> no. Come on, man. 
I've lost every single challenge on this season so far. And I was just like, not again. <laughs> you do it. I suck. Okay, see that? You do not. <gasps> Colin, do we hit this thing? <laughs> Great work. As we can see, Linda and Michael have finished their ask fall first. And if they have completed their draws without fault, then they will be the winners. That looks very sound to me. You guys are the winners. Yes! yes! Congratulations. In sync. We were so close. <laughs> ah, it was a bummer. Um, we actually want to reveal something. Okay. But it turns out that we are too honest and beautiful for our own good and owned up to something that we did wrong. We got to fit these things in. We forgot oh, to put oh, pieces guys. in. It was a mistake. <laughs> it wasn't until we flipped the drawer over and it was like, what are those things on the floor? We did, absolutely, 100%. It's there, you can feel it. It's right there. Oh, you're right. <sighs> Makes no difference to the draw. Because of this, I'm going to have to disqualify you, Linda and Michael, and give the victory to Alison and Dan. Yeah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll take the win, for sure. But, like, I feel bad about it. If we'd taken time to put those extra rails in, we definitely would have won. So at least this way, we got a small taste of winning, and then we also got the satisfaction of being the good winners. Essentially, everyone was a winner today. <laughs> Who needs music? Yeah. We didn't, and we won. So... Yeah. There you go. What is music? Not necessary for IKEA challenges, no. let's just say that. No. So, Dan, we have had 15 episodes to figure this out. Mm. What is music? <laughs> I mean, I think we've shown that it's this really personal thing that everybody does on a daily basis, but at the same time, it's this complicated cultural thing too. Yeah, and a love of music is just for everyone. There's days that you want to consume it really passively, there's days where you want it to be completely overwhelming, there's no right or wrong way to experience it. The key is just enjoy it. I mean, I think that's what music is. I mean, it sounds cheesy, but it's kind of what you make of it. The end. Do you want a high five? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think so. You almost got my head. I know, I know. We're at the end of this beautiful 15 part series, and music has truly brought us together, but you don't have to leave. Please keep the good times rolling by watching some more episodes. Watch more episodes. Maybe you missed one. Maybe one made you laugh and learn. Who knows? Tell your friends. Mm -hmm.